So how do you make the most money driving for Walmart? Well, it may not be what you think it is. In the earlier days before Walmart, it was all about as quick as you can get it done. Drive faster, disconnect the trailer, hook up the next one as fast as possible, push the people that are unloading to just go as fast as they can. And it made sense because I was getting paid by the mile back then. And so if I wasn't moving, I wasn't making money. Well, with Walmart, it doesn't really work as well. You, you may make a little bit of money extra, but that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is, is to make sure that you produce an accurate ETD. An ETD is an estimated time of departure, which means that whether you're at a vendor, at a store, at a DC, the time that you're putting down with the available hours and everything is based on when you're ready to put it in gear and drive on to the next thing you're supposed to be doing. And it really does make it to where you make the most money at Walmart. Now, how could you get an accurate ETD? Well, it's being familiar with your surroundings. When you're a new driver, you don't know these stores. You don't know what to expect when you get there or what could happen that doesn't always happen all the time. Like, uh, let's say you have to pull an empty out of the dock and then put your trailer in the dock and then connect onto the empty to leave. Or maybe it's a store that doesn't unload very quickly or maybe they don't answer the back door right away and you'll end up having to walk around. I mean, this stuff's going to happen. If you if you're somebody that's been here for a long time, you know, you've been there, you've dealt with it multiple times. And so you're not necessarily going to fix these problems, like make people go faster or have it to where you could just put your trailer in there and grab the empty and leave. You're not going to fix that, but you're going to know what to expect and you'll be able to have a more accurate ETD. So for that first year, you're going to go to probably somewhere around 80%. I don't have the exact number, but you're going to end up going to like 80% of the stores. And, um, you know, you may only go once or twice. And so you want to start taking a mental note or maybe write it down or maybe put it on your Google Maps on an app or something on your phone. Do something to where you can have a reminder of what's up at that store, what you know, some kind of memory aid so you know what you're dealing with. And for me, I use uh, Google Maps, but I don't really use it much anymore except for, you know, trying to get an accurate time of when I'm, when I can make it somewhere or can't make it. But back in the day, I used it like crazy. And you can see from my Google Maps, I've starred just about everything there is to star in California. And so I got notes in there because you can put like a note with it, right? that says, you know, they don't answer the back door, you know, expect to be an extra 15 minutes or um, there's never an empty here, you know, and things like that. I pretty much got it on memory now, but back then I didn't, I couldn't remember all that. I mean, each one of the DCs have, I'm not sure exactly how many, but somewhere around a couple of hundred stores that you service, where well, you land up going to several DCs, at least two or three during your week. And so multiply that by three. That's a lot of stores to remember. And like I said, you want to get familiar with the stores and the vendors as quickly as possible. Focus on that and you'll be able to have a more accurate ETD moving forward. Your day will go smoother. You'll make more money. I guarantee it. I didn't realize it until it was good, probably a good two years before I started realizing, you know, I don't have to drive super fast. I'm not like totally busting my butt trying to get this trailer unhooked and this kind of thing. Yet I'm doing pretty good. And I realized, oh, there's, you know, my days go so much smoother. My ATDs are accurate. And um, so it makes all the difference in the world. It really does. And so whatever you can do to make your day go smoother and know what to expect, and have your best ETD. I mean, that's really the secret to it. And when you're a brand new driver, well, your job is to get familiar and learn all this stuff as quickly as you can. You know, after a year, you're going to be doing a lot better. And and you're going to hear that from a lot of new Walmart drivers. You know, it took me about a year to get used to all this stuff, and then I started doing a lot better. Yeah, there's a lot of technology type things, like uh, you got the tablet in the truck, and and uh, you know, 
just putting in ETDs the way they want it, doing things the Walmart way. You know, it. you want to focus on stuff that makes things smoother. And so if you're safer, then there's another disruption you don't have to worry about. Getting in an accident, backing into something. Yeah, that's another thing, too. In the back of these stores, most of our accidents, if you want to call them that, it's more like an incident, is fixed objects like yellow poles or, you know, some, some fixed object. We have more trouble with that than we do driving out on the highway. If you're familiar with the stores, you're going to know where all that is and you're going to be careful. So, um, yeah, believe it or not, it's as simple as that. Just get to know your job as soon as you can. Have memory aids of all the different vendors and stores you go to. Have the most accurate ETD. You will make more, the most out of Walmart. I guarantee it. By the way, uh, hopefully this is not too distracting for you. I, uh, this is my day off. and So this is my studio. I'm going to do some of the videos in. Anyway, it um, doesn't matter. I'll still give you the same information. Just a little different scenery. All right, I'll catch you next time.